Hey everybody, we all have our own idea of beauty. After all, it's a matter of taste, upbringing and perception. But today we're going to talk about animals. A lot of different creatures surround us, and many of them are incredibly fascinating. They can be cute, charming, funny or strange. For this video, we've picked some of the most unusual and beautiful animals, birds and even insects. Each of them could win a wildlife beauty pageant. Let's get it on. Clouded Leopard All wild felines are graceful and eye-catching in their own way. They're all beautiful, but clouded leopards are the creme de la creme. Leopards are usually quite secretive animals, and this species is no exception. These leopards are much smaller than their distant African relatives. Their body length varies from 80 to 100 centimeters, their shoulder height reaches up to 55 centimeters, and they weigh no more than 18 kilograms. Despite being so small, they are incredibly agile. It's believed that clouded leopards can climb trees better than any other feline. Once the prey is close, they suddenly jump on it. They can even kill large prey. Thanks to the effect of surprise and their huge fangs, the largest of all felines in relation to their body size, you can recognize this leopard by its coat pattern. The spots are large and shaped like black rings. And their face is quite unusual too. Long, narrow with big eyes, brownish yellow to grayish green. Clouded leopards live in the mountainous areas of Southeast Asia, usually at an altitude of about 2,000 meters. To date, there are approximately 10,000 of them left in the wild. Red Panda this animal is not just pretty, it's stunningly cute. Look at its face and its fluffy paws and tail and its clumsy little movements. Red pandas live in China, in northern Myanmar, in Bhutan, in Nepal and in the northeast of India. They're quite small creatures, about the size of a domestic cat. Despite their charming looks, red pandas are actually predators, even though they mainly feed on plants. Quite the paradox. From time to time, these animals eat berries and mushrooms and attack small rodents, probably just depending on their mood. By the way, you're right to think that red pandas don't really look like regular pandas, even though they share the same name. Their common ancestor lived millions of years ago, hence the differences. And while we know almost everything about the big panda, there's not so much information about the red panda. For quite a long time, zoologists couldn't even classify it. Initially, it was placed into its own family, then into the bear family. At some point, it was even classified as a close relative of the raccoon. However, it ended up being a panda. By the way, in China, the red panda is referred to as the fire fox, given its color and size similar to those of a fox. It also gave its name to Mozilla Firefox. That's why we can see a red panda on its logo, not a fox. Peacock Spider You probably hate spiders and find them terribly disgusting. But this one may change your mind. This tiny creature from the west of Australia could easily be the prettiest spider ever. Its flap-like extensions on the abdomen make it look like a peacock when it expands them. When there's a female around, this tiny 5mm long spider raises its flaps to form a circle with its abdomen. Then it lifts two of its many legs, and as soon as the female approaches the spider, it starts performing a groovy dance in front of her. The only thing this party's missing is music. <coughs> However, if the female remains uninterested, or if she doesn't like the dance, the boyfriend would be captured immediately and eaten. <laughs> What can you do? Spider dance battles are tough. Meanwhile, despite its size, the peacock spider is an excellent hunter. It can spot a prey within 20 centimeters. It might not seem much, but it's a true achievement for someone so small. By the way, scientists believed peacock spiders use their colored flaps for longer jumps. It wasn't till 100 years later that they discovered that they were used for the mating ritual. The Matchy's Tree Kangaroo do you know how many kangaroo species there are? More than 50. And one of the cutest lives in trees. And not in Australia, but in New Guinea. The Machis tree kangaroo has large claws that help them climb. They live in the mountainous rainforests. These nocturnal animals tend to live alone and are actually kind of lazy. They sleep 14 to 15 hours a day, then munch some leaves and then wait for them to digest. But despite this, the Machis kangaroo is very strong and active. 
Thanks to its muscles, it can easily leap from tree to tree, jumping up to 10 meters. It has no trouble jumping all the way down too, even from a height of 15 meters, all thanks to its powerful muscles and a kind of built-in shock absorbers in the joints. Another unusual feature of the Machis kangaroo is the absence of sweat glands. You know, sometimes it happens in the animal world. Because of this, instead of sweating, these animals lick themselves, maintaining the optimal body temperature. Unfortunately, today, these extraordinarily cute animals are endangered, mostly due to hunting and destruction of their native forests for agricultural use. To avoid the complete extinction of the Machis tree kangaroo, there are protected areas for them. One of them, established in 2009, extends over 760 square kilometers. Bongo this animal belongs to one of the African forest antelope species. Among all species of Africa, this one is the most numerous and most outstanding. Just look at it. It's not an antelope, it's a piece of art. A striped one. Bongos reach up to 1.3 meters in height, while their horns can grow up to a meter, which makes them quite heavy for the animal to wear. Really dexterous, too. These animals easily slip under fallen trees and branches instead of jumping over them. As they make their way through the dense vegetation, they raise their heads, lining their horns along their bodies so that they won't pick on trunks and branches. Bongos feed on leaves and shoots, ripping them off on the move. After noticing something delicious above, the antelopes rest their hooves on the trunk of the tree and try to pull up to get the treat. Tamandua this species of anteaters, called the Tamandua, live in the tropical rainforests of South and Central America. They're quite picky at choosing a place to live, as they need it to be perfectly warm and wet. If there's a bonus, such as a lake or a river nearby, their life is set. These animals are almost twice as small as their relatives, the giant anteaters. They only reach up to 70 centimeters in length, and their tail is even shorter, and they weigh no more than 5 kilograms. Their extraordinary fur makes Tamandua seem like tall and their coat pattern makes them look like they're all wearing vests. Tamandua's sharp claws obstruct their walking, which is why they have to walk on the sides of their forefeet. Obviously, you can't run away from enemies walking like this, so Tamanduas prefer to wait, standing still. But if an attack is inevitable, they get up on their hind legs, spread their front legs, and defend themselves with their claws. Mandarin Duck if you've ever seen the movie Fantastic Beasts, you probably remember a bunch of beautiful and diverse creatures from the movie. The Mandarin Duck looks like one of those weird animals that lived in Newt's suitcase. This is a relatively small forest bird, weighing from 0.4 to 0.7 kilograms, and it would be the most ordinary bird if it weren't for its appearance. The male mandarin duck's wedding suit makes them stand out among other ducks for its very colorful feathers. For almost a year, from September to July, these birds show off their bright feathers, and it's hard to believe that they really exist. Mandarin ducks would probably feel quite comfortable next to the nifflers, swooping evils, and all sorts of okamis. By the way, these ducks have another distinguishing feature. It's the only duck species that perch on trees. Their nests can be found at a height of over 6 meters. Peacock Ask someone what is the most beautiful bird, and they're probably going to say it's the peacock, with its gorgeous, colorful tail that makes it look really festive. Each feather is decorated with an eye-like pattern. You must have seen them. On the top of their head, too, peacocks have a crown-shaped crest. Turns out, aside from the peacocks we're used to, there is another kind, white peacocks. Some wrongly assume that they are albinos, while actually researchers have singled out white peacocks as a separate species, discovered in India at the beginning of the 18th century. Albinos have no pigmentation of the feathers because of a gene failure, while the feathers of this peacock are colored white. White peacocks usually have blue eyes, which is rare for these birds. Candy Crab
When you first see it, you can't quite believe that this is a living creature and not some glass toy that accidentally ended up at the bottom of the sea. Meanwhile, this unique crab lives in the corals of the Pacific and Indian Oceans. Due to its modest size, just about two centimeters long, it has to work hard to survive and not be eaten by some predator. Here, nature comes to their aid, because these tiny crabs are no different from the piece of coral on which they live. Candy crabs can be red, but they can also change their color to white, yellow, or pink. This feature often puts them in among the best disguised creatures. By the way, it's believed that this species has no relatives. It is the only species of its genus, which makes the candy crab even more unique. Psst, dude, are you looking for new technologies and great gadgets? Are your thoughts focused on the future? Do you love huge vehicles and can't imagine your life without robots around you? Then visit TechZone and you'll find all this and more. The link is in the description. You interested? Great.